All right, we are working on writing, and we're continuing to work on our comic strip. I have run off some fun. I'm going to show you. Eventually, we're not quite there yet, but eventually I have a lot of templates that you guys can start writing your comics on. Different templates for you to write. Now, do you have to use just one template or can you use multiple templates? Multiple. Yes, that must make it fun. So I even have more than this, but these are three that I copied off. So, but we're not ready for this yet. Do you think you need a setting for your comic. Yes. Yeah. You need a place. Where is my comic going to take place? Is it going to take place on Earth? Is it going to take place on Mars? Is it going to take place in Costa Rica? Is it going to take place in Disney World? Where is my comic? Or is it going to take place in a make-believe world? These are all things that you need to think about. So what I want you to do right now is you are going to write about your the, or your setting. Where are your characters? Where are they? Explain it. What does it look like? What does it sound like? Use your five senses to explain your setting. Because your characters have to have a setting. They can't, I mean, even though they're in boxes, where are these boxes? In your mind, you need to create, where are my protagonists and my antagonists living? What does it look like? Questions, Cole? Yes. Well, there you go. A very beautiful place. Um, Luke, you are writing setting, and then what I would like for you to do, if you get done with your setting, so write setting on a sheet of paper, and also theme. What is my theme? I have characters. What is the theme of my comic? Does, do comics have to have themes? Yes. Yeah, they do. They are stories, friends. They're just stories in a different format. So you have to have a setting. You have to have a theme. You already have your antagonist and your protagonist. Remind me what an antagonist is. What is an antagonist in a story? Bless you. What is the antagonist? You already wrote about it. I should have every hand up. I hope you know because you already wrote something about your antagonist in your comic. Toby. This. And what, so then if the antagonist is the bad person, what is the protagonist? What is a protagonist? Gabe. No, we just said the antagonist is the bad person. What is the protagonist? Yes. Luke. Oh, you had your hand up. Oh, I was on the Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um, Owen. Okay. So, we have our antagonist. We have our protagonist. We have kind of, we talked about a conflict the, on what day was it that we were last did writing? The whole last week's a blur. Wednesday. Remember we talked about how was the how are the mice going to get the cat on around the bell around the cat's neck? And you all worked out the conflict. What is conflict? What is the conflict of the story? M. The problem. The problem. So in every story, especially if you have a protagonist and an antagonist, you're going to have a conflict. What is your conflict? So today I want you, what did I do with my marker? Goodness sakes, that scared me. <laughs> um, 
conflict. These are things that I want you to start thinking about. Child. Theme. And setting. So these are three things. We kind of talked, touched on this already, but that wasn't your comic strip. That was about the mice and the cat. How did it work out? How did you work out the conflict? So now you need to start working out the conflict in your comic strip, the theme and the setting. So you have a lot to think about, a lot to write about. These are all important aspects. You can't have a story without these elements. What is my conflict? You don't have to really decide what your conflict is, but I want you to understand what a conflict is because you do need to write it. What is my theme and what is my setting? So these two are especially focusing on today. So you may start writing now. Do we want music? Yes. And I do want you to be writing. Are these going to be graded? Yes. Yes, they are. Are they going to, they're not going to be worth as much as your Martin Luther King Jr., but I do expect good work, which means it means you have to spend time on this comic strip like you did Martin Luther King Jr. or any other papers. Now this is fun. That is, this needs to be fun. Yes, Luke. If you want to, yeah. No, comic strips are kind of hard. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, this is just an idea, and it, it's something, I'm kind of thinking it'd be fun to copy them off and make like a little booklet, and then pass it around and everyone can look at it. I know with COVID, that may not be kosher. So this is things I have to think about, but I think it'd be fun if I compiled them, copied them, and put them in a little comic book for you. But we'll see because um, with COVID, we have limited opportunities like that. But yes, your aunt, the answer is yes. We will read them if you would like. Any other questions? Yes, Em. Um. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, that was loud. We couldn't hear it, and then I pushed it too much. I, yes, Em. Um. Theme is where your story is taking place. Or no, 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 that's setting. Theme is the overall, what is, what is the, uh, what are you trying to tell your audience? The theme is what are you doing? What is your purpose of the story? Theme is that, is a, what is the author trying to either teach or tell the reader? All right, I want to see writing. Yes. Conflict is a problem that occurs in the story. And the conflict is, is the conflict, your antagonist and your protagonist need to come up with a solution. Usually the protagonist wins, but the good doesn't always win, so that's going to be up to you. Conflict is the... You are writing where you're, what the theme and the setting of your story is. You are going to explain to... You are writing down where you're setting, so where are, where is your story taking place? Is it outer space? Is it earth? Is it a make-believe place? That's what you are trying. That's what you are working on right now. Where is your comic taking place? And you can make up your own world if you want. Yes, Gabe. Yes. If that helps you to visualize where your setting is. Absolutely. Now it's going to be hard to draw a picture of your theme, but maybe you can. We need to write emails to 
email our prayer request. For your, this is for you to keep. So when you start writing your comic strip, you have all of this. Again, these are all tools for you to use when you start making your comic.
there is something called a writer's block where you cannot think of what to write. Does anyone have any idea what is the best way to get over a writer's block? Fall asleep? Not try? Um, brainstorm? Continue to write, just write. Even if you don't know what to write, start thinking, drawing ideas might help. But not doing anything isn't going to help you get over the hump. Part of the, the hardest part of writing is getting out of your head and getting your ideas on paper. If you keep focusing on this is too hard, I can't do this, I don't know what to write, then just start maybe scribbling, writing words down, brainstorming. So once you start writing ideas down or just writing ideas, ideas start surfacing. So I would start, where is your, where would you like your setting to be? Setting is kind of fun because you can make up your own world. What does it look like? What are some of the smells? What do you hear? What are the sights? What colors do you see? Are there other people on this area, in this area or this setting? Or is it creatures that you've never seen before? If so, describe these creatures. What color are they? What are they eating? What does the ground look like? What color is the ground? Is it sandy? Is it wet? Is it mushy? Is it rocky? Is it pink? Is it blue? Is it orange? Does it have polka dots? These are the things that you start thinking of. And when you're making up your own world, then it's really fun because you can make it all up. So I would suggest, I see a lot of friends who aren't writing, and it's hard, I get it, but just start putting down ideas colors, sensory things. What do you see, smell, taste, feel? Is it hot, is it cold, is it dry, like Arizona? Or is it humid, like Costa Rica? Is it lush and green and beautiful, or is it completely different color than what we're used to? Those are the kind of things that you need to start writing down. Yes, Em. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I'm sure Em doesn't know exactly how this character is going to fit in her comic strip right now, but she thought of it. And if you think of something, write it down. It may seem silly, but then when you're going through your notes and you see this, and you're, it might be like, oh my goodness, that is the best idea to do in this scene. Grayson. Um, a conflict is a problem problem that occurs in the story. All right, I am going to let you all write.